Hi all, I just wanted to show you a cool little feature that we have with um, uh, our soundboard that we have, the Behringer X32. It's just a great soundboard and I wanted to show you the software uh, that it has with it called X32 Edit. And I think it's just awesome that we can use, basically we can control the sound and the computer um, you know, the soft, you know, Pro Presenter from uh, this iMac. So I'm going to go ahead and open up X32 Edit, which is found right here. Okay, I have the soundboard on right now. It's powered on. Okay, um, just give ourselves a little more room here. Okay, so the first thing that will show is connect to X32. I'm going to hit connect. Now, do you want to transfer current setting? Uh, I always choose mixer to PC um, unless I was making a bunch of changes in here through the software then I would go PC to mixer and then I would save it um, and I'll show you that so I'm gonna for now I'm just gonna hit mixer to PC okay so so we have it open so uh, we could do everything right from here uh, let's, for instance, let's go ahead and play a song. This is just a pad. Now you don't hear it yet, but you will in a second. So here's your different channels, 1 to 32, uh, or a smaller channel, 1 to 16, uh, 17 to 32, and then this is where you'll have um, the computer. So as you can see, we got sound going right here, but... Um, we don't have sound coming through uh, because it's just too low. Okay, so now you can hear it. It's pretty amazing that when you change it here, I'm looking at the soundboard watching the volume go up and down uh, it, as I do it here. It's pretty neat. So, so you can completely control everything right here. Okay. So let's say we just wanted to mute it real quick. This is your main channel here. And just in case, if you open it up and it's like this, um, you know, this is, uh, you still have access to the main channel, but you don't have access to, and when I say main channel, the main volume, I should <laughs> talk more clearly here. So let's go ahead and mute this. So that's going to mute the whole house, everything. Um, and here's, I wanted to show you where the sends on fader is. Okay, so we have the house uh, muted, but we still have music playing. So, you know, right here, um, you have monitor one and you got drum, drum monitor. Okay, so there's your drum monitor. So this is your sends on fader. So I'm going to unmute this. Okay, you may or may not be able to hear that, but that's only the drum monitor. That is only the drum monitor that uh, is he hearing the music. Okay. Okay, here's the other monitor, which is we have it listed as monitor two. Let me first mute this one again. Okay, so this is monitor one, which is all the vocals and all the other musicians. So the drum drummer has his own monitor. So okay. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute this. All right. So you hear that? That is your um, your monitor one. That was all all that right there. So that's your your sends on fader is what you know as you would see it on the soundboard. And then you have all your different channels, acoustic guitar in your monitors, the pad in-ear monitors. Um, so I'm just showing you the, the actual monitors uh, that are on the stage. Okay, so, so that's that. Um, again, you have everything right here, everything that you would see um, on the soundboard. If I made any changes here, it's gonna make the changes uh, as, it, as if you're on the soundboard. So it's pretty, pretty neat that we can do all this from this iMac. Um, with this soundboard. If you have any questions, let me know. I think this is a great tool that any one of you can download 
and play around with and create scenes. Let's say I made a change, let's, you know, here, uh, then you can save it. So I just, for instance, I just hit save, save as scene. Um, and then you can name the scene. Let's, let's just call it youth. Um, well, let's just call this uh, test. Okay. And I like to save it all in the same place. Behringer X32 scenes. And you hit save. And uh, there it is. It's saved in the computer, and you can load that anytime you want. If you wanted to load a different scene, um, that's all done right here. Load, load scene. Uh, again, go to documents, Behringer X32 scenes. Let's load Joe Rudin. Okay, so there's there there it is. So now I can control uh, everything that Joe created here. So. Um, really neat. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, um, yeah, have a good day. Take care.